will be aggressive like I always am. I want to race against the best athletes I can find. It's just the pressure's gonna be colossal for me. My goal is to win. My sport is high rock. My name is Zoe Joanne and my sport is High Rocks. Hi, I'm Eddie Dyer and my sport is High Rocks. My name is Kirsty Hendy and I'm a High Rocks athlete. Hi, my name is Kieran Parkinson and my sport is High Rocks. What started as a dream is now a reality. High Rocks was introduced as a new sport. Success wasn't guaranteed and came with a lot of effort from everyone involved. Among the secrets of success stands the never-ending process of evolving, and High Rocks indeed never stops progressing. High Rocks events are now taking place in so many countries, making it possible for people to come from almost every corner of the globe to compete. Some people make a fully packed trip out of it, mixing competition and travel for the ultimate experience. People are getting hyped about this sport all over the world. The energy is unreal when the action goes down in different gyms and arenas. There's so much emotion and connection in the air, it's a real vibe. The emotional, mental battles that you are fighting with, but you get through it just to get across that finish line. When you cross that finish line, there's tears of elation, there's tears that it's over, but you have the biggest smile and that finisher's patch means more than anything. Two of my biggest passions in life is travel and fitness. I've, I've been in the fitness industry now for 17 years. I love traveling. Um, people that are on my social media, my friends, my family, know that I live for, for travel. So when I found out that, that High Rocks was coming onto the radar, and when I found out that it was scattered about in different locations in Europe and North America, I jumped at the chance. And it's just amazing. You know, we, we go out on a Thursday or a Friday, we spend the day before the race out sightseeing. Um, taking in the local culture, trying out local foods, going on some trips and then racing on, on the Saturday and then going out for a few few drinks and a nice meal with, with friends that I've made through the sport on the, on the Saturday evening. So for me, it's just the perfect sport to be involved with. So I think what's great about having High Rocks in different cities around the world is the fact that it enables you to travel. Um, and I love traveling and I love fitness and I love competing. So, you know, we're able to put, you know, those three aspects together and it's just the perfect holiday. A lot of countries have embraced High Rocks and an increasing number of people are getting familiar with it. But if we need to choose a place that has taken High Rocks enthusiasm to another level, the answer is simple. The United Kingdom loves all about High Rocks. The hype is real in the UK, High Rocks events are popping up all over the place and they're drawing in a huge crowd of passionate athletes and spectators alike. The event that took place in Manchester in early 2023 set the tone and gave everyone a chance to see what we're talking about with 4,000 competitors and thousands of fans cheering them on. Manchester is quite a small city, so when the World Championships take it over, it's going to be absolutely electric. There's going to be high rocks everywhere. I can't wait. It's going to be like a little high rocks Olympic village. Crazy journey, a quick journey. We only had our first event in the UK, I think like 14 months ago. Um, and so the growth has been insane since, since then. I don't think any of us expected the UK market to be quite as 
as, uh, as popular as, as it is for High Rocks. Um, and High Rocks is just, I guess High Rocks in the UK are like the perfect fit <laughs> because uh, the, the British people seem to just love it. Um, and uh, obviously we are filling maybe a gap in, in the market or something and people for some reason love, or, or for lots of reasons, <laughs> people love High Rocks. Um, and, uh, and so we're, we're just very, very fortunate to have such a great community here who have really just embraced what we've brought to the, to the market. So, so we're, we're super happy. And uh, yeah, it gives me goosebumps to think of how far we've come in such a short period of time is crazy. We actually launched the UK market um, just in September 2021. Um, since then, we've had, we went from having 600 participants and around 200 spectators or 500 spectators or so. Um, and we are now selling out three months in advance to six months in advance with over 4,600 athletes. And I think we had so many athletes go to the uh, World Championships last year in Las Vegas. And so it almost felt quite natural to come to the UK um, to kind of host the World Championships in what has grown to be the biggest market by far and to host one of the best communities that we have seen across all of our events so far. It's just been incredible. Right from the beginning of the race in Manchester, the atmosphere was out of this world for both participants and spectators. You could just feel the love that the people in the UK have for this sport and the participants were feeling it too. I've done most of the UK events this season. I've done all of them in fact and I did Fair of Mount last year and the, 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 I don't know, like you said, the, the word vibe is the right word. The vibe within it is, is incredible. Like. Uh, 5,000 athletes competing in one day. I think Birmingham was like one of the biggest indoor sporting events ever. Um, and as and, and said, you, it's so nice to be able to meet faces that you've met online and, and or put names to faces that you've met online. And, and as I said, cheering each other on and you can be in here for six or seven hours and it doesn't feel like you've been in here for, for that long. And I think that's such a special community within High Rocks that's being built. And yeah, it's, re it's a really nice environment to be in. High Rocks UK is obviously taken off massively from where it, we were a few years ago. We came into High Rocks in 2018, I think it was, um, and the changes have been crazy. But High Rocks UK never disappoints. It's a real crowd pleaser. The atmosphere is electric, lots of big numbers, which obviously adds to um, the atmosphere. Another really good day. I've been to Amsterdam, I've been to Maastricht, I've been to where else I've been to Hamburg. Um, and when you come to a UK event, whether it be London, Birmingham, Manchester, and I'm pretty sure, pretty sure Glasgow as well in a couple of weeks, there's something about the fitness community in the UK where everyone gets involved. You see uh, one person coming to do either a, a High Rocks woman or a High Rocks uh, men, and they bring their whole family. And that whole family has uh, banners and they're, they're cheering. So the, the energy, people say, oh, it's so vibey. What does vibe, what does a vibe mean? It means energy, it means support. It means enjoying uh, what you do. High Rocks has proved through the years that it's a sport for everybody. The UK events are no exception, and Manchester set the stage for all to shine while testing their limits. Among them was Tyler Saunders with an amazing story to tell. I've been playing wheelchair basketball since 2007, still play now. But in my fitness journey, I've been doing a little bit more kind of events and challenges, and I kind of fell in love with functional fitness which led me to High Rocks, you know, a couple of years ago. Initially seeing High Rocks, I thought, you know, that looks too difficult for me. I'm not able to do it. That looks impossible. There's no way I'm doing that. And the opportunity came to do my first one. And I took part, I did it, you know, adapted certain things, used my wheelchair to help me do the running aspect of the sport, of the, of the workouts. And after that, I was like, yeah, this is possible. Like, I, I do enjoy it. And, I've enjoyed every single race. I've got, you know, times have, I've improved, times have got better. 
and I'm just seeing how, you know, how capable I am and how much I can challenge myself each time. I'd recommend High Rocks to anyone, anyone who likes a challenge, anyone wants to, who wants to see what they're capable of. Again, it's not an event for the fittest of the fit. You know, an everyday gym athlete can do it as well. There are things that are tough and that are challenging, but you know, that's what fitness is. That's what workouts do. They're meant to challenge you. They're meant to push you. And I think people will see there's such a broad range of participants. Again, in terms of fitness levels, age, um, you know, there's a split of men and women taking part. There's a different range of like body types as well, kind of people who you wouldn't expect to be your kind of typical fitness event participant. Even the elite athletes who've competed in High Rocks events all over the world were blown away by what Manchester had to offer. The conditions were top notch and it really showed. Compare it like to um, other European, German or Austrian events in Vienna, it's like there are like 800 participants or something like that, if not less. And here we have like a few thousands, three, four, five thousands, and that's crazy. You you see it on the on the like on the venue, the spectators always uh, they are cheering, they are pushing. Um, the athletes, it's, it's a different atmosphere if the, if the uh, venue is like full. The vibe in the UK venues is very different, I suppose, than the German venues or the Spanish venues in that uh, it's a bit more, it's a lot more boisterous probably. It's a lot more people, they're more um, closely compacted in the halls because there's so many in the venue. And I think it adds a little bit more than, than what the, the European races have. There's a great sense of community between all the people. Like I've never, I've never passed someone who hasn't said hello or gives you a little wave. When you're running around, everybody, complete strangers, will cheer for you and, and try and encourage you. And I, I'm not sure that the European races kind of have that yet. And I think it's a lot to do with, with the volume of people inside the hall, which makes it a little bit special. Let's now learn more about the way High Rocks changed Herman's life and allowed him to fulfil his dreams. Also, mein Name ist Hagen Bahadovan. Ich bin 36 Jahre alt, komme aus dem schönen Siegburg und bin High Rocks Athlet. Früher mal bei der Bundeswehr und äh, durch, den, durch den Übergewicht und äh, durch den Wechsel, äh, beruflichen Wechsel, bin ich im Sicherheitsdienst gelandet. Und äh, hatte immer so einen Wunsch, in den öffentlichen Dienst zu gehen, äh, da ich auch, äh, ja, es gefällt mir halt, Menschen zu helfen. Und da habe ich halt geguckt, was man halt in diesem Bereich machen kann, wo ich halt am meisten äh, bewirken kann. Und das war für mich, äh, im Ordnungsaußendienst zu arbeiten, in einer Behörde, im Ordnungsamt. Und äh, es war halt schwierig, dorthin zu kommen mit der körperlichen Fitness, die ich damals hatte. Ja, es war fast unmöglich. Ne? Also, Ich hatte zwar alles, war glücklich, aber ähm, es war halt wie in so einem Hamsterrad. Also es hat sich nichts geändert. Ne? Äh, Im Gegenteil, es wurde sogar äh, negativer durch dieses Übergewicht, durch den Schichtdienst, den ich hatte, durch diese Unregelmäßigkeiten. Und äh, das war halt unbefriedigend. Ne? Also, also Ich habe dann in den Schluss gepackt, dass ich eine Veränderung machen muss, dass sie auf jeden Fall jetzt sofort starten muss. Und äh, der Gedanke war, mit etwas anzufangen, woran ich auch Interesse habe. Und das war halt der Kampfsport. Ähm, und äh, ich hatte halt auch Bekannte, die in dieser Sportart tätig sind oder äh, auch äh, langjährig erfolgreich sind und habe mich da halt mit eingeklingt. Ich hatte halt alles dokumentiert, alles auch auf Social Media immer hochgeladen und äh, habe dementsprechend dann halt auch immer sehr positives Feedback bekommen. Und beim Kampfsport ist das halt so, du gehst halt alleine in den Ring, ne? was für mich halt auch kein Problem war. Und ich hatte auch zahlreiche Zuschauer. Bei meinem ersten Kampf waren über 300 Leute dabei, die mich supportet haben. Und, aber irgendwie möchte man das den Leuten ja zurückgeben. Und bei so einem Sport wie High Rock, was halt so ein Jedermanns-Event ist, habe ich halt das erste Mal 
die Möglichkeit, den Leuten was zurückzugeben, indem ich denen auch sage, komm, gehen wir gemeinsam an den Start, komm, lass uns das gemeinsam erleben. Das, was ich erlebe, möchte ich euch wiedergeben und das kann ich durch High Rocks halt perfekt ausleben. Also für mich ist die Community halt das Wichtigste. Ne? Ohne die Community läuft gar nichts. Ne? Und ähm, für mich ist der Kontakt oder der ständige Kontakt und, äh, sehr wichtig und steht an oberster Stelle, weil es ist ein Jedermanns Event, es ist ein Event für jeden und äh, das sollte man auch pflegen. Für mich ist es ein gemeinsames Ding. Also für mich ist es nicht High Rocks nur für mich selber, sondern ich gehe mit allen anderen an den Start und wir gehen auch alle gemeinsam äh, durchs Ziel. Und das ist für mich halt wichtig und steht an oberster Stelle. Getting back to the vibe that comes with UK events of High Rocks, what it's worth mentioning is that the excitement goes beyond the gym boundaries. There are a couple of High Rocks dedicated podcasts that have popped up recently and they're getting lots of attention from fans. A lot of athlete stories in the High Rocks world that need to be told. A lot of people want to know what goes on behind the scenes and news and we're there to, to help people find out what they, what they want to hear. There are a lot, a lot of great athletes out there. Some people that you know and some people you don't. So that is why the podcast is there. High Rocks is probably one of the most welcoming sports out there. Um, I don't think I've ever had a bad experience at any High Rocks event. It's like you come in and everyone is so welcoming and so open to whatever time you're achieving, whatever place you're coming, um, whatever technique you're using. They're, they're like, look, this is about you getting over that line and competing with yourself. And I think that's really such a strong um, foundation for a community. And that's what we try and emulate on our podcast is around trying to talk to the average person that does a high rock. No matter the level of experience of each participant, what really counts is practicing the right way. Each athlete have their own level of intensity and amount of time that they can spend in the gym. But at the end of the day, it's all like a universal language of fitness. Most people are training for this sport without realizing it. If you go into the gym and you're doing like a run or you're doing some skiing or rowing and you lift some weights, you know, you're, you're sort of halfway in without really knowing it. You've just got to like get on a program and understand that there are principles to, you know, training for an event that's not going to change. So if you condition yourself correctly and there's like progressive overloads and deloads in your training cycle and you keep on doing it, like anything, you're going to get better. It's like a language. At first, you don't know one word, you don't know how to ask for a beer, you don't know how to say thank you. And then you learn some lessons, you know, you, you understand how, how to conjugate verbs. And then all of a sudden you can tell people directions. There's nothing like it. It's the first in the UK of this kind. I think lots of people are really into working out now, more now than in the last 10 years. And actually, High Rocks is a great way to test your fitness. So it's for anybody who goes to the gym, it gives you motivation to work out. Um, and I guess what's really great about High Rocks is all the stats. It's the same concept across multiple events. So you actually get to see how you're improving over time. That's why the boom is happening. Probably it's just, there's a market for it here. What really makes the High Rocks experience special is the incredible support and togetherness that everyone shows towards each other. In the UK events where the crowds were even bigger, this makes the sense of unity even more apparent. It's amazing to see so many people coming together and cheering each other on. When you're racing, especially a singles race, it can be very lonely out there. And I think by being a judge, which I've done once already and I'm about to do again today, it's able to support others. And you know, once you've raced, you know what everyone is going through. And I think that massively helps because you know, and as well as a sort of somebody that's in the fitness industry myself, 
I can, I'm pretty good at gauging who needs support and who just wants to be left alone to get on with it, especially on the wall balls. They will, those wall balls can make or break people. And I tend to know who needs help and who just wants to get that job done and get over that finish line. The vibe, um, the atmosphere, it's just a buzz from start to finish, even at the very end when there's only a few competitors taking part, you know, there's still people around, there's still a buzz, there's still an atmosphere, people are supportive, even people who you don't, who don't necessarily know you will give you support, which I have had. Um, and from people who I don't know, you make friends, new friends, you make new acquaintances and good friends from this, the family, it's a family orientated vibe and welcoming to anybody. It kind of engrosses you in, like the, the community within High Rocks is very encouraging, even when you're competing against people, uh, everyone's trying to support each other. Even when we were just there, there there's guys you're running against uh, and everyone's giving each other a pat going, when you're running past people, people are like, go on, you can keep going and, and vice versa. And it's very rare that you get that within, within a sport. Um, my first time was competing actually here when I did it and uh, the, only, the only reason why I got into High Rocks is, is I just had my daughter and I was kind of sat on the couch and I was like right I need to get back into fitness and I need to get back into shape sort of thing and, and this gave me some, a purpose to train for. Uh, I ended up doing quite well, I ended up winning my first ever event and I thought oh, man maybe this is for me. <laughs> The competitive part of the event in Manchester was marked by the efforts of two elite athletes in the doubles competition. Alexander Ronsovitz and Taigo Lusa joined forces to see how efficient this partnership can be. They really pushed themselves to their limits and they rocked the field. Thiago and I were like talking about this double, I think right after Vegas. Uh, right after last season and our first thoughts were, were like to come here, check out the venue and just uh, try a double together and uh, see how it works out. We knew that it would be like right after the Europeans but it's always a nice experience and uh, we just wanted to be here and to get and try it like together and see how it went out with the normal weight. Yeah. It was a different experience, a fun experience, but also very intense. Uh, the weights are lighter than on the pro division, but the runs are faster and so the workouts are also faster. You don't have a lot of time to, to rest. So I was side by side with the European champion, Alex. So there was no time to, to rest, but I really love the experience. The success of the High Rocks event in Manchester was so massive and showed why this venue was chosen for the 2023 World Championships. On the 26th of May, the world's most prominent athletes will gather in this place to test themselves against the best of the best. And the anticipation is already huge. It's set to be an amazing World Championships. I really do. I think it's super excited to, to be bringing it to the UK and I think the UK is going to embrace, embrace the World Championships. You know, it's going to be an unbelievable event. We're going to have people from all over the world coming, coming to the UK, um, you know, from all other, all other regions where we're already ho hosting Hyrox events. And uh, I think it's set to be, set to be a great race. Um, it's going to be very exciting to see, you know, obviously the elite race, but then also to see, especially, you know, to root, to kind of cheer on our, our British athletes. Having an event in Manchester is really important because obviously this is where we are returning to for the World Championships. Um, it's a really iconic venue. Um, it's definitely extremely different from every venue that we have. The rest are all um, quite warehouse-like. Um, very like metal, they're very different and then you come here and it feels like a home with it being an old converted um, railway station, it's just beautiful, it's got a lot of character to it um, and so I really feel like that kind of brings a different energy to all of the athletes that come along so um, I feel like it gives people a kind of sense of what to expect and what to look forward to in May. 
the energy is electric, like every time. And I'm so excited that this year we get Manchester as well. We're having the World Championships, so it's a real beautiful platform to get everyone to see what the UK has to offer. And like, some people would say like, oh, why, is the, why are the championships not in London, for example? But you've really got to come to Manchester to see that like, you make such a splash in Manchester. There's just nothing like the vibe that you get to the High Rocks event in the UK. Attending an event there is an experience for a lifetime. And as High Rocks grows to extreme heights, there will be even more places with such a dedicated fan base. The future is looking bright for this amazing sport. Yeah.